While the accelerating pace of change in the financial sector represents both new opportunities for businesses and fresh challenges. Financial firms and services providers are aiming to develop solutions for clients that work for them when and where they need them. Well, we are joined right now by Shafi Jaffa, Senior Vice President, Head of Commercial Money Movement Solutions Asia Pacific at Visa. Shafi, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. It's wonderful to be here. It is wonderful to have you here. The landscape has shifted so enormously uh, over the past few years. So, you know, I am sure that is all amongst the buzz here at Cybos, amongst your peers and colleagues. I'm curious, what are the key things that businesses and consumers need to understand in this new environment? You're absolutely right. Over the last few years, the landscape for payments, both for B2B payments and money movement, has shifted pretty rapidly and it's continuing to evolve for us. Um, there are multiple trends actually that are taking place and I'll talk about three of them. If you look at the opportunity for B2B payments, for peer-to-peer -peer payments or disbursements, that's 200 trillion globally. And in Asia Pacific, that's about $70 trillion. And it's not surprising that it's that large considering three or four of the largest economies of the world reside in our region. Um, uh, there are multiple, I think, opportunities and there are multiple trends that are taking place. I'll talk about three of them. The first is uh, what I like to call the consumerization of B2B payments. What that means is essentially all the disruption that we saw in the consumer payments world is now taking place in the B2B payments world. And why is that happening? A big reason for that is that the workforce itself is changing. There was a report that said that by 2025, 25% of the workforce would be Gen Z. Now here's a generation <laughs> that does everything on their mobile mm -hmm. phone. So think about them as they come into the workspace and their business owners or their employees, they expect the same intuitive processes and mobile first, digital first experiences. So we are seeing that big shift. The second is embedded finance. Um, if you think about both consumer payments or B2B payments, when you think about embedded finance, it's essentially talking about payments in the background or finance in the background. I'll give the example of e-commerce. When you go and make a purchase online, you know, the in consumer is interested in making their purchase and the payment actually is in the background where they just, you know, yeah. with a simple click, make the purchase. We're seeing that same trend of not moving away from the environment of the user, not just in the consumer space, but also in the B2B payment space. Mm. Um, and the third one that I think is really significant, and we've heard a lot about it over the last day uh, and continue to do so, is cross-border payments. Mm -hmm. Consumers and businesses are looking to receive payments and make payments that are quick, uh, that are cost-effective, and most importantly, that are very secure. Let's talk about the opportunities uh, that, are, that are appearing in this area. Uh, where do you see the significant opportunities for commercial money movement solutions in, in Asian markets? Great question. And there's so many opportunities, but I'll talk about a few of them. Uh, the first is um, in the world of B2B payments. I'll talk about that a little bit. I mentioned the consumerization of B2B payments. So with that comes a whole opportunity for all players in the industry to really make their processes very intuitive. Virtual cards is a great solution if you think about it because it allows for better controls, it allows for a card credential to be embedded within the mobile phone to make very quick purchases and allow for reconciliation. Another opportunity um, is around working capital. Today, businesses need working capital and that gap still remains. So as we think about a form factor like a credit card for B2B payments, it allows us or allows a lot of the businesses to make payments and receive payments and use that as a working capital line, which has not been necessarily looked upon in the past, but effectively yeah. it's a credit line on a card credential that comes with all the value of data yeah. and automation. Um, Another great example, I think, and an opportunity for us is in our region specifically, I love talking about this uh, <laughs> because it's so significant and so important yeah. to you know, individuals who live in this part of the world, yeah. is remittances. Yes. Uh, there's about $950 billion of remittances globally and more than 50% of it touch an Asian market. Yeah. So that's a huge opportunity for us to provide solutions that are effective and timely for all those individuals who are making remittance payments. 
Um, and the last one that I'll talk about is, again, very specific to our region. We are the largest exporting region in the world. In fact, out of the 80 top trade corridors, 70 of them touch a nation market. Uh, so if you think about that, yeah. the need for providing collections to exporters becomes a really big opportunity. Yeah. And the need for providing solutions where exporters or small businesses can collect payments that are again seamless and come with all the data that they require is another big opportunity that's significant. Well, it's such a significant percentage of a lot of countries' GDPs and Visa plays such a powerful role. So how are you making money movement easier? Yeah, uh, we have a whole range of solutions. Um, on the B2B side, we have our core commercial card solutions on top of which now with the virtual card solutions, it allows for better reconciliation, but allows for automation, so there's seamless payments that can happen. Uh, so that's a great uh, opportunity we are seeing and actually a lot of uptake uh, because again, those cards can be embedded now within individuals' uh, mobile phones. So if you're a business owner or an employee, you simply use your mobile device for all your business purposes uh, when it comes to payments. Uh, another area, and you know, we touched upon this, um, you, know, you talked about the GDP and the need for better collections. Uh, one of the big things with cross-border collections or payments is reach. And with our Visa Direct uh, set of solutions, we have about 8.5 billion endpoints, wallets, accounts, cards, where individuals can now make payments to. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's you know, quite significant. Uh, and then lastly, when you think about collections, along with our, within our money movement solution set, uh, we have what we call our currency cloud solution set, which allows exporters who are small businesses to collect payments, to hold payments, to convert to FX, and then make further payments if they need to. Yeah. Uh, we are a virtual multi-currency account yeah. setup. Uh, so that's been pretty uh, unique in the world of payments when it comes to actually providing collections. Well, this, it just shows, this is all the hard work behind the ease of use, right? Shafi Jaffa, thank you so much. That's Shafi Jaffa, Senior Vice President, Head of Commercial Money Movement Solutions, Asia Pacific at Visa. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much.